Notice this is a benzylic carbon or benzylic hydrogen. Uh, so this group here, what will we become? Benzonic acid. Now I'm going to put a note here. You see the one that put a square bracket on it? This is called intermediate. Now intermediate drawing is not required in A level or even requiring exam, not required. This is just for your understanding. Okay, let me write down here, not requiring exam. Okay, so right now I have this group already. Okay, so this become benzoic acid, no problem, similar to on top. Then what happened to this one? You see the CH3 here? This CH3 here, I call it as no man's land. So what happened to no man's land? Nothing is here. You will automatically become CO2. You do not have to know why you become this acid. You just need to know that the no man's land carbon becomes CO2. I give you a bit more example so that you understand what is the meaning of no man's land. Let me give you a study a bit more complicated. Now we have more space below, so we're going to draw something. Let me draw a molecule for you to see. Okay, so we have a compound that looks like this way. Okay, maybe I draw this one. Okay, something like that. A little bit more complicated. Let me magnify it. A bit more complicated. Now, when you see this kind of reaction, just be a little bit careful. Normally, benzene is a union of alkene reaction. So when you see benzene, normally they like to test you with alkene. So if you add KMnO4 in the reaction, I know that you can go through side chain oxidation as indicated down here, no problem. Okay? This one, you confirm you can do it. But I want to bring your attention to one more thing. Remember from now onwards, a ring and alkene are always hand in hand together. They are always hand in hand. Double bond is here. This double bond is able to go through your strong oxidation. So there are two reactions here. Let me put a note here. This is called side chain oxidation reaction. One more here on the right is called strong oxidation. Some of you may learn it as vigorous oxidation. Some of you may learn it as oxidative cleavage. They are the same thing. So we are going to cut the double bond here because of strong oxidation. At the same time, we also need to go through side chain oxidation. Now, here's the question that some of you may have. Side chain oxidation and strong oxidation. Who is faster? Okay, the answer is right. No one is faster. This reaction here, we call it as a concerted reaction. Now, what is the meaning of concerted reaction? Meaning that the reaction takes place together. So there's no winner. There's no winner here. That is why side chain oxidation and strong oxidation take place together. No one has a clear winning edge. So in other words, if you took a look at the left-hand side, it will become benzoic acid. Okay, let me just shade it. Now, then what about the one on the right-hand side? You see on the one on the right-hand side, right, is two carbon atom. This is a double bond. When you cleave the double bond, it will become double bond O. Okay, so it's a pattern recognition. Double bond cleave give you double bond O. What happened to the H here? The H directly bond to the double bond, it become O H. Then after that, you see this one, C and C. So you become CH2 and CH3. And here we go. I should remember there are two chemistry in one here. Strong oxidation and your section oxidation. Now for the online student, when you copy finish, you understood it, you can type the group chat, yes? So I know you understood it. In the meantime, I try the on-site student. Okay, let me check. Huh? Okay, so I got one question. Does that mean that both reactions occur at the same time? Yes, it will occur at the same time together. That is why we call it as concerted reaction. Okay, we call it concerted reaction. 
Now, you may think that why is a big deal or concerted? Now, it's a big deal, no? Because if it's not concerted, if I tell you side chain oxidation reaction take place first before strong oxidation, you know what does it mean? It means that this will become benzoic acid. The rest of them become CO2 because the rest of them will become no man's land. Remember the no man's land theory? You become CO2 and H2O. So there's a difference between concerted and non-concerted reaction. So because it's a concerted reaction, it takes place together, no reaction has advantage. Hence, this group will just become the acid. Now, your turn. Can you take a look together?